Oh, we got one little light out right there. Huh. All right. I'll have to put that on the list of things to fix. It's been about it's been about a week since I started the truck. It's like 24 degrees outside. So you guys will get to hear a cold start here. Hang on. Before we hook up the trailer, I've had people ask about this fifth wheel, a greaseless fifth wheel. So this is an aluminum fifth wheel. This fifth wheel, and if you look over there, was on that truck right there, the 2013. It wouldn't fit on the 2003 because the 2003 has a low profile fifth wheel, but it fit on this one. Um, and if you go way back to the videos I had about that truck, I replaced this plate. This is like a composite plate that's on here. Um, so I've already replaced it. So this plate is fairly new on there. I don't know what it's made out of, but it works. But this is aluminum fifth wheel and then uh, that composite plate. So you don't need to grease this part up here. And then it just goes up on up under here. So you can see up under there but that's what the aluminum fifth wheel is all right let's uh hook her up and uh, we're gonna get ready to go up I always like to look up under there make sure you can't see the uh, kingpin sticking down the jaws are locked so that looks good and always give it the tug test hook up now we're gonna hook up the airlines so blue airline is service air there's only air that goes through this line when I press the brake pedal in the truck red line is emergency air there's always air goes through here so when I press the red button in the truck it will supply air to the trailer and if for some reason that was to become disconnected it would automatically lock the trailer brakes this one here is for the lights hang on I gotta do this with two hands this plug here is for my dump valve that's the only thing this thing does is the dump valve all right, we got the airlines hooked up. I gotta get the landing gear up next. All right, got the landing gear up. That's always a little workout. It's good for you. All right, let's check the lights on the trailer. So what I was talking about, the, the red airline, when I push this in, that's supplying air to the trailer. So you can see trailer air supply. Let's turn the lights on, four ways on. And then we pull our little, this little valve is for the trailer brakes. We pull this down, we can check the uh, brake lights. All right, let's check out our Dorsey trailer. All the little lights are lighting up. And you can hear 
you can hear the trailer filling up with air. All right, so you see we got our four ways on our blinker light. You see how those are brighter there. So our brake lights are on. Oh, we got one little light out right there. Huh. All right. I'll have to put that on the list of things to fix. All right. Everything else looks pretty good. Tractor lights are working. And we'll check our headlights. Everything looks good. All right, good morning. We're in or near Fort Stockton, Texas on I-10. We're at the big rest area. When I got in here last night, it wasn't that crowded. I woke up, there's trucks everywhere. Being around here. I'm just checking the truck out before we get going. Everything looks good. Back here, I, uh, I did stop at one truck stop to look for the little the little light but they didn't have the one I wanted down that way but we got the axle up on our Dorsey trailer save a little fuel I don't know if I told you guys or not we're on our way to uh, Laredo Texas so couldn't get nothing out of Arizona so we ended up coming out of going to Laredo. There's Bailey up in the window this morning. I'm just looking to see if anything's leaking. Look at our belts. Make sure everything looks good there. Everything looks good there. Check the oil real quick. Remember the oil pressure sensor right place? it's not leaking anymore making a mess so that is right on the fuel full line so that looks good so i think we're ready to go all right we got some air pressure built up we're ready to go so uh the last time i talked to you guys when we were leaving the house i was just getting ready to leave i was gonna leave in about 15 minutes my next door neighbor called and he needed help doing something. So I said, yeah, I got a couple hours. I can help you out. So uh, I always try to help out my neighbor whenever I can. I'm not home very often. And because uh, he's the one that maintains the wash. So I went over to help him out. So anyway, left a couple hours late. We're running just a, a, a little bit behind, but not too bad. We're going to, uh, I gotta make one pit stop at the Walmart in Fort Stockton. So, one thing I forgot.
forgot to buy when I was stocking up the truck before I left was some baby wipes. Freshen up. I use them. So I am stop and pick up some baby wipes at Walmart. There's a big parking lot across the street from the Walmart down here. We're gonna park in there. And then we get down at Fort Stockton there. We get down to Fort Stockton, we're gonna make our way down to Junction, Texas. And we're gonna go to Cooper's Barbecue. All right, we made it over here to Junction, Texas. Over here at Cooper's Barbecue. This is where they do all the smoking. Ski wood. This truck stop up right back there. Jeans truck stop. Pretty interesting place. When we used to first come here, there was nothing here. They built a little truck stop there, and then across the street on the other side, there's a pilot. You see all the smokers. We've been driving about an hour and a half or so. We're uh, out here on the back roads. We're, we were on 83. Now we're on 127. We got about 65 miles over to Interstate 35. It's pretty back here. I think do a lot of hunting and stuff back here. I saw some rafting, water rafting places. Probably in the summertime when the water runs. But it's a little windy curvy a little bit. Get over here, there's a Petro. This is gonna drop us off right at right by the Petro. And uh, we're gonna go in that Petro. I'm gonna check at the shop there and see if they have uh, the little round light I need. And from right there, we're gonna be about uh, 100 miles from Laredo. Not 
very busy. I think what I'm going to do should take long. I got to go to the shop, which is right there. I'm going to park right here. See if they got the part. And then decide. Now, if every fuel aisle was busy and there's a bunch of trucks, I wouldn't do this. But uh, I'm just going to wait right here. So let me go check. See you now. Talking a bit. All right, we made it to Laredo, or about 30 miles from Laredo. I was going to show putting this on, but as you can hear, it's noisy. Most of the time, when I try to fix stuff, it's noisy outside. This isn't the one I wanted, but it'll work. We're going to put it right there. I've already sprayed it down with a little Windex. I, I wanted the Grote brand, G-R-O-T-E, but I also wanted one that had the plugs on it. I didn't want to cut anything. I'm doing this one-handed. There we go. Let's see if it'll pull out. I didn't want to have to take this light out, but it doesn't want to come out. So, I might have to pop that light. Alright, so we got this light out right here. The rubber garment. And what we want is this light right here. So, we'll unplug those two. Plug the new one back in and make sure everything works. All right, I just got done fixing the light. It was noisy out there. That's why I have a hard time filming fixing things is because it's noisy. Um, so I don't know if you guys heard me or not. We're about 40 miles from Laredo. Um, we'll leave here about 7.30 in the morning. But anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.